by a man that has a master's degree in the science science way. He's wait, 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 wait. If you're on video, so he's he's holding this up to the camera. Look at these numbers. Look, he mathed this. He like white papered this thing. Look at this thing. Sorg, I scienced the fuck out of the Bellatron. Okay. Okay. Now, now. Right. Okay. So the Bellatron is supposed to be a countdown to breaking the record of longest held Divas Championship, uh, breaking the record that nobody mentions of AJ Lee, by the way. Yes. Um, and you had some problems with this, and I think a lot of us had some problems with this. And we also have the man behind the uh, Strip Nikki petition to give his side of the story here as well. But first, let's look at the Bellatron. What did you determine, Mike? Okay. So, first, before I could examine the Bellatron, I had to get an exact measurement of AJ Lee's title reign. Now, uh, I did this with the help of the WWE Network. Mm -hmm. um, AJ won the title on June 16, 2003. I'm doing all of this in Eastern Standard Time because fuck the West Coast. Um, Whoa. A AJ won the title. Sorry, so sorry, Alex. Yeah, sorry, Alex. Um, Garza, Garza is saying I need to show numbers and cite sources. I have numbers and sources, motherfucker. Um, AJ won the title on June 6, 2013 at 8.35 p.m. and three seconds. And she lost the title on April 7, 2014 at 10.19 and 37 seconds p.m. That makes for a title reign of 295 days, 44 minutes, and 34 seconds. That's a long fucking title reign, people. Mm -hmm. Now, Nikki Bella, who won the title from AJ at Survivor Series last year. If you guys will remember, it was horrible. It was uh, the kiss of death repeated, and it was awful. Uh, but she won the title on November 23rd, 2014, at 9.51 and 4 seconds p.m. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because last night on Raw, they had the Bellatron come up around 10.30 and 45 seconds p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And at that point, Nikki's title reign was 288 days, 1 hour, adjusted for... Uh, Daylight saving time. And yes, I took an hour off of AJ's. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you. Science. <laughs> Fucking science. 288 days, 1 hour, 39 minutes, and 41 seconds. Now, the Bellatron read that there was 7 days, 1 hour, 29 minutes, and 44 seconds left before Nikki beat the title reign. That's bullshit. It's bullshit, Sorg, because there is actually seven days and 55 minutes and eight seconds that she needs to hold that title to beat the record. So in other words, as long as Nikki keeps her belt all the way through next week's Raw, she has the record. Hmm. But she can't, she, can't break, she can't lose the record during Raw. To be fair, though, they're only off by like 34 minutes and 36 seconds. So not as off as I thought they were going to be. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's, and, and when in, that is, that is the finest example of picking nits I've ever seen in my life. That is downright impressive nitpicking. <laughs> Thank Holy you. Shit. Thank you. I, I'm holding on to my dream that the only reason that WWE is fudging these numbers is because they want to have the Charlotte Nikki Bella match and they want Nikki to break the record during the match and then lose the match. Yeah. See, the thing is um, they would be better going by the actual numbers than the number they have on the Bellatron, because judging by the Bellatron, uh, that record ends after raw is over. Wait, so according, they, according, if, according to the Bellatron, get, it's after raw. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, the graphic came up at 10 30. And it said there was an hour and 29 minutes. So that that's over at like midnight. I feel like, they, do you feel like as I do, I, 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 think, I think, I think they measured it to the end of the day. Okay. Like, like to, to September 15th, like when September 15th start, that's when she officially has 296 days. 
So, I mean, I, I think that's what they're going for. But if they want to get real technical about it, you know, Nikki has to lose the belt within, like, the first hour of Raw. Otherwise, she already has the record. Yeah, yeah. Garza said he was not. He calculated that the record should be broken during the first hour, so he was right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, if they wanted to do something like that, it makes more sense to go by the actual number rather than just the number of days. Certainly, certainly. But yeah, anyway, fuck Nikki Bella. We need to get that belt. Maybe, off. maybe they forgot the factor in daylight savings time, like you did. No, uh, no, I no, I think they're literally just counting the number of days because. At 10.30, they mm-hmm. showed the thing last night, so it'd be an hour and a half left in the day. Garza calculated the, the record to be broken in the first hour. He, 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 yeah. I think he concedes yeah. that he might have been the one off. So, uh, One, uh, great great bit of math making. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Matt, I, I know you feel very uh, vindicated in, in this situation uh, as the man behind the strip Nikki yes. movement. Mm, yes. You know, not the first time that this show has been ahead of the curve, so we're about two... Two and a half weeks early on the uh, enough of this Nikki Bella is Divas Champion deal. Mm-hmm. And now Charlotte has ripped off my petition idea. I guess it all works out in the end. So what happened with Charlotte? We won it like a week ago. We declared victory on our petition like a week ago. 70 people, Sorg, signed that petition. That's right. 70 total strangers. Because you know what? I got to say something. I got to get up on my soapbox. You know, when I launched the hashtag strip Nikki petition